hi guys so i decided to give you all another video before the year ends and we're gonna be looking at all the eye-catching players of the netball world cup 2023 in no particular order goal attack of fiji raulini quick on the ball quick on her feet uh, a very good shooter from all around the circle and I was really hoping to see her get a signing in one of those big leagues across the world. But um, I guess we will see how that goes next time around. Next was Fiji's goal shooter, Maliana. She plays a smart game of netball and I just love to see her with um, Unice. They make a wonderful team. Out in the middle for Fiji was Kete. She was quick. She was... Uh, smart she was quick on her feet she was really a firecracker uh, for the front of the attacking line for Fiji even though she's young she has a lot more years in front of her but she was just beautiful to watch with the combination of Unice and Maliana next team we'll look at is Zimbabwe and Nicole is a workhorse I enjoyed watching this girl play Every game that she was in, I loved how her coach to move her around the court, and um, she was just really good wherever you put her. But as a goal attack, she was definitely uh, the best there. Next was Maturo. She used her height and her years of experience to just uh, help the whole attacking line of Zimbabwe to get those goals in. And watching her with Nicole was just a really good combination. We had the young Nalani. Uh, she debuted at the World Cup for Zimbabwe. Uh, she has many more years in front of her, but she was really good with Maturo. Their combinations were working, and um, I hope she will get some more experience in the years to come, and we'll see how best she has grown. I decided to add Beulah because of the combinations that Zimbabwe had that work, especially this one combination with Nicole at center, Beulah at wing attack, Matura at goal attack, and Nalani at goal shooter. That combination was just really, really, really good uh, throughout most of their matches. And um, as I said earlier, I'm just looking forward for the growth of the team. Unique Palavi of Tonga confidence was through the roof a great goal shooter she worked well with cat to vitae yes uh, if you haven't played with cat for a while you won't be accustomed to her movements but um she learned quickly and i just enjoyed watching her play well little baby i enjoyed watching this girl play as the captain of tonga she was really commanding on the court. She was really a game player and a game changer. She was everywhere and I just enjoyed watching that. Congratulations to her on signing her contract with the Firebirds to play in the Suncorp Super League in Australia. Next up was Dulani of uh, Sri Lanka. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. It was just her confidence for me to go after the balls, to be a playmaker, to put up the shots. And I just enjoy that. Just the confidence. An absolute firecracker. Lawazi of Malawi. Smart. Speedy. Playmaker. Love, 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 love to see her on the court. It was just her quickness to be able to run the entire length of the court at 31 years old. She was just really quick on her feet. And I'm just absolutely gutted that she has decided to hang up her netball boots. Next, we have To of Singapore. An absolutely amazingly talented shooter from all around the circle, especially mid and long range. Latanya Blackman, uh, as a 40 plus year old, she used her years of experience uh, playing for Barbados. She was just great at finding the spaces, doing the feeds, shooting those balls, and just using her years of experience on the court to really get herself in the game, get her team going, and she looks good doing it. 
really admired Teresa Howell and how she was just confident to go for all those balls. Um, she was very good de defensively and she was also a playmaker on the court and I just really applaud her for that. Khadija Williams, playmaking queen, absolute uh, gun with the feeds to Janiel Fowler for Jamaica. Absolutely love watching her play. Defender Latanya Wilson debuted at the Netball World Cup this year. Absolutely amazing defender, just as good as she is in the Australian League. Shanice Beckford had the stats working for her at the World Cup. Congratulations on signing your contract to play with the West Coast Fever in Australia. Here is another speedster, Nicole Dixon Rochester. She can literally run circles around you and I just love her speed and her intelligence and her playmaking abilities. And uh, she was just beautiful to watch. Janiel Fowler outdid herself for me she was very impressive and congratulations on your nuptial ma'am steph wood was just as good and also congratulations to her on getting married cara conan they call her the baseline queen and let me tell you she is really good on those tippy toes um, she was just as impressive as watching her in the Australian League. Congratulations on your degree. Honestly, Kira Austin has always been great, but in my opinion, she really showed up at this World Cup, and I just love that. Courtney Bruce, that's it and that's all. Fran Williams, if I was impressed with anybody else, else at the world cup it would have been fran williams as a defender uh, her abilities her instincts her capabilities just really blew me away and i'm just absolutely stoked that she will be able to play in australia congratulations on your signing for the west coast weaver helen Housby, congratulations on your mbe award earlier this year Next, we have Georgia Rowe. I was really impressed with her. She has been using her height, her skills, um, her experience, all that she learned playing in the Vitality League in England, and it was just a joy to watch her. Philippa Yarrington, another young lady that impressed me, recently found out about her at the Netball World Cup. Uh, she's young, she's speedy, she's talented, and I wish her all the best uh, gaining more experience. As a shooter, Nicole Talliard has always been someone in my eye who is super talented, a uh, decent mid-range and long-range shooter, and I'm just so happy that she's finally got the opportunity to play in one of the big leagues across the world. She has signed a contract with the London Pulse. And also congratulations to her on getting married this year as well. I would consider her to be a defensive great. Kyla Pretorius is just amazing to watch. Whether she is playing by herself or with her team, she is just beautiful to watch and I just enjoy watching her. Uh, she has decided to take a break from netball and is staying home with her family in South Africa and I really wish she is not planning to retire anytime soon. I uh, hope to see her back on the court. Kanis Speedy, smart playmaker. She was brilliant in the midcourt for South Africa at the World Cup and I'm just so stoked and happy that her talent got recognized and she will be playing in England for the Cardiff Dragons next season. Stridom, her debut at the World Cup for South Africa this year. I didn't get to see her in a lot of games but the uh, few games that I've seen her in, she definitely has talent and congratulations to her for signing a contract to play in New Zealand for the coming season. Margaret Bagala, a 21 year old of Uganda. She is smart, talented, had so many years in front of her and I just wish her the best.
Here is another work hard. Shadiana Sanga. She picked up three different player of the match uh, awards at the World Cup. And I just love watching her play. She doesn't let the size of her body stop her or deter how she plays and i just love that congratulations to her on picking up a one-year contract to play in the malaysia netball league for the kale wildcats hanisha i first got introduced to her at the world cup and i was just blown away by her capabilities she is an amazing shooter and she also plays defense that is very rare. Congratulations to her on signing her contract to play for the Sorry Storm in the England League. Irene Iaru, years of experience, uh, captain of the Ugandan team. Uh, I just enjoyed watching her play. You could see her basketball skills in her netball games. And uh, she was just beautiful to watch. Mary Chalok, layup queen, just enjoy watching her. Her personality is through the roof. Some of the best defenders this year from New Zealand, and I just appreciate this combination of players Kelly Jury, Jane Watson, Karen Berger, and Phoenix Caraca. Love, 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 love their defensive work. Uh, New Zealand didn't end where they wanted on the table. Individually, their players are just amazing. Peter Toyava, super, super, super talented uh, playmaker. She reminds me of Leon, Leona, Leota. And um, I just wish that the coach would just believe in her more and give her more core time because she is just really talented that way. Amelia Ran, captain of the team, amazing shooter. Uh, she was just a workhorse for them, not just physically on the court, but also encouraging being a captain in the camp. And uh, I just applaud her for that. She is taking a break from netball this year and she does deserve it. Joe Alicia Cooper of Trinidad and Tobago, super talented shooter, playmaker, um, just someone who you would look up to or look at mostly while watching the Trinidad and Tobago team. She has maybe over a decade of experience under her belt and I just enjoy watching her play. Chantal C. Mungal, I was really, really, really impressed with her at this World Cup. She really came to light. She was a playmaker involved in almost every play. And uh, I just enjoyed watching her play with her team. She was really good and I hope to see her in the near future. Of course, in my opinion, that was all the players who caught my eye. If you have any disagreements or anything you need to add, just let me know in the comments and we can definitely talk about it. Here's a reminder of how the table ended at the 2023 World Cup. Of course, happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you for sticking with me and this YouTube channel. And here are all the retirees from the recently concluded Netball World Cup.